Hello everyone, this is Zeebo and welcome to this AFK journey video. So we are back on Zeebo's, which is my $0 global server account. That's a simple progression report, 7 days into playing the game. 451k power with Rowan's first purchase sign of approval still around. So it's a fresh $0 account, never topped up for anything. And in today's video, I'm going to run through how far I've progressed on this account and what are the things that um, it's gonna change moving forward so uh, we take a look at the story stage right now i am dark, i'm at dark forest 6 so that's a uh, chapter 2 6 In, yeah it's chapter 2 6 dark forest is chapter 2 so we have verdoso mountain and we have remnants peak so i think uh, the progression is comfortable based it's still pretty similar to my previous pacings on my other account they are free to play so i'm okay with that like one week in we are here i expect um our accounts to hit end game at the end of the month like that is the pacing like i think for most people as a free to play um you will probably take like a month or so to reach the last chapter i guess close to that like that was my free to play progression in the test server so in global with all the freebies and with all the activities and invest uh the events running around it might be a little easier and at the same time it could be a little bit harder because um there's a lot of spenders right by the way so here is the day seven euro chest i i I'm still thinking who i should go for like i recommend iron i'll definitely go for him if i feel that rowan is not needed to push progression so i kind of want to start pushing my progression moving forward i don't know whether or not this unit will be important because his ability for my unit to spam ultimate might be quite valuable so we shall see how i haven't choose yet but is between iron or rowan so iron is a late game choice rowan is for the progression then next one um forward journey so over here we are at afk stage 318 okay so some people actually ask me how do you tell whether or not your server has a lot of spenders okay so there are certain signs so number one their cosmetics very different you don't see it so you look at this rope right we go into the the cosmetics over here so er, where's the rope where's the rope okay i think this one only unlocks if you if you are able to get it yeah i don't think it's here for this play okay so this is rank one to fifth in arena so i, I don't think the rope that they're wearing is even here so that rope i think it's a vip 15 thing right so that's one sign based on the cosmetics of their characters you know um that they are quite a massive spender so cosmetic is one number two you look at the frames that they are using so this frame is the travel lock and then we have the monthly pass frame so uh i mean this is just a sign that they spend but they not, might not be that big it's just that oh you bought it so they give it to you and the other way you know whether or not the guy's a big spender is the title so the top guy in uh global server one right now is ring supreme my main account is radium flip so uh i think they start giving you title in brilliant spark that's vip 8 radium flame is vip 13 rain supreme is probably 16 or 17 so yeah it's a lot of uh cash already spent on the game so that's one way to tell so these are the few ways you know you have a lot of spenders so that like, even if i take a look at like maybe i just take a random guy over here for example right this guy is easily 980,000 power so that's like double of my power and there's no way the guy is getting double my resources without spending so that's why i'm not so concerned about competing because uh there's just a lot of spenders here like I, i'll be honest like like they at, um a very simple travel log or a very simple battle pass can just give you so much more resources that's how valuable the spending will give you and that's something which uh i mean it's part of the game right it's a little bit pay, pay, pay to win but as a free to pay player you can definitely compete but it's just like depending on the competitiveness of your server or depending on you know how hardcore the people in your server are that, that's pretty much it but in terms of progression i think it's okay top three percent not gonna complain too much um and at the same time i feel that my build is more late game centric or rather the way i'm building up this account it's it's more of a mid game power spike thing because i stopped using cecia as you guys can see i didn't even bother to get duplicate copies of her because i promise you guys that i won't run her so i'll keep the promise uh i do still her i still i do still run her once in a while if i need some form of control 
right don't get me wrong i'm not using her for my general progression but i i will slot her in as a control tech once in a while like that's something which i think cc is still really good i think she's still really good in arena even at a low rarity because the aoe control ability is just insane right she's a good unit don't get me wrong it's just that i don't plan to use her i'm, I'm going to prove to people that you don't need her to progress through the story so next right so my early game without cc is much lower but let's talk about the team that i'm using right now so we have our dear torrent best tank in the game enough said don't need to talk too much if you have him use him then we have our carry odal so odal right now is a legendary plus the the thing about odal is his power comes in from the heart crusher ability the insta killing will start killing things really fast once you get there so it's uh, one tier away once i get him to mythic and then we need 200 acorns to up him to mythic plus and then we unlock the ex weapon so that's my current game plan so nine more shots i'm actively just spamming pool so that i can get there as fast as possible and once we get there i'll do a feature video for odal to let you guys see his real power in the mid game so that's my carry of choice and uh, we have two supports coco as well as uh, smoky so insane heal insane offensive buff and then we have uh, insane defensive buff over here 50% damage reduction, a little bit of heal to keep the whole team healthy. So when both of them have their active on, right, your team basically don't die. So these two pair is quite insane in terms of content pushing. And then I have the last slot to Entendra for the Mauler buff. So we have 4 plus 1 Mauler, 19% stats, 18% stats I think. And then we have uh, Entendra as a secondary tank and second ability shield formation being really good because Torrent is my main tank with all the stats and she provides a shield based on 15% of the allies max HP. So it's based off Torrent's stats instead of hers. So she's quite good to serve as a secondary tank to buy more time for your carry to survive or for your backline to do stuff. So that's why I'm using her. So that's my main team in terms of general story progression. Other units that I'm developing includes Viperion, Heroin, Damien as well as Sylvana. So I get a lot of dudes for them. So I just upgrade them because it's still shut to this, right? Based on where I am. Uh, but Sylvana is good for Arena in certain situations where I need to snipe off some targets. Damien and Heroin, they are more late game centric. So I'm just repairing them for my late game contents. Then Viperion, same thing, just getting multiple copies of this unit. Uh, once in a while, I still use him in Arena as well. So generally, the red color ones are unit which I use in Arena. I still use CCL once in a while as a control tech. And then having building her up, she's not there yet, but I think once she reaches her like uh, EX weapon, she's also going to be a game changer for Dream Realm. So that's that. So yeah, that's pretty much the general account progression. Generally, um, I think any unit that is at least of Epic Plus, I still use them once in a while to just tag things in and out in case whatever I'm using is not working. But in general, the top five units are the main team for my story progression right now. So that's for the team showcase. In terms of uh, every other ranking, let's see. Arena, I'm at Elite Plus. So uh, Elite Plus is still quite far from Legend. 2.2k. I think by the end of the week, if we do progress our Odal to Mythic Plus, we get his EX weapon. And then we get Torrent to the next tier which makes him tankier so it has more time for odal that i should be able to increase my rank at least all the way up to i, I think i won't i won't overestimate maybe at least a legendary one right by the end of the week so that'll be my goal uh, as a free-to-play player on a competitive server and then we have a uh, dream realm so unfortunately for dream realm it's um still very stat centric because uh we don't have the units that are used in the key strategies yet so we're just using units that are our strongest and they might not be the best so top 10 percentile in the server i think uh still acceptable like i mentioned as a free to play player the the consensus is that you're not going to compete with some of the heavier spender in the server itself and at the same time you also got to pace yourself to know that um whether or not you're still moving in the game but as a as a player i feel that of being free to play the goal is to see yourself progress every single day so my goal usually on a daily basis is like at least 20 afk stages uh if i can push more i push more if i can't then uh, that's that right so I try to be as efficient with my afk stages to do as much as possible and once i unlock the story stage i just try to clear everything and in cases where 
the units are still too strong for me so level 111 level 115 then i'll just leave them there and then come back later on so that's just how i've been doing my account and i'm also trying to or rather i've cleared all the story as well as the quest available for additional resources so if you guys are stuck like me on the map you are not progressing as fast in terms of dream realm or arena then you guys can do all these quests right but um i'll say in most cases if you feel that your server is way too competitive and that uh like you are just never catching up then it's fine to switch the server it's one of my tips for the free to win players like there are so many server out there i think at this day and uh, that we are speaking right here we have over 200 servers already yeah 216 so so like i'm at server one and we have some of the biggest guys here so if you if you feel that hey, it's very suffocating to play in this kind of servers then then go somewhere else there's 200 servers for you to choose from so that's it right it's a very simple run through of my free to play account hopefully you guys uh like what you are seeing right? if you guys are at the same progression as me if you guys are free to play and struggling don't feel bad about it it is part of the game but enjoy the process enjoy the progression and thank you very much for tuning in do remember to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys again in my next video bye guys